Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. One of the things I really like about Obsidian is how much you can customize it. You can maximize the fine tuning of your digital work environment for both aesthetics and functionalities, choosing between almost 200 themes and more than 1200 community plugins. But that's not all. You can also use just some CSS snippets to improve the core functionality of Obsidian. And you know why. Thanks to the amazing Obsidian community made up of people who work hard and with passion to improve the experience in Obsidian for everyone. In today's video, I want to show you a fantastic improvement for Obsidian Canvas made by TFT Hacker that brings the usage of this core plugin to a whole new level, Canvas Candy. I am really glad to be part of the Obsidian community and to bring this content to all of you. So if you are new here and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. But now, Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, as you may already know, Obsidian Canvas is a core plugin within Obsidian that offers you an infinite digital whiteboard for visualizing your thoughts and ideas. I already published a video about that, so if you are completely new to this, go check it out, I will leave the link in the description down below. The problem though is that Obsidian Canvas has its limitation compared to other tools like Miro, for example, and one of them is that you can actually create only squares. Also, you don't have any chance to create other elements like circles or diamonds or even use stickers. Well, until now. This is Canvas Candy. These drawings are stunning and you will obtain all of these with just some CSS. Guys, TFT Hacker made a remarkable job on this. The vault you are watching right now is the Canvas Candy vault you will find on TFT Hacker website. Link in the description down below. Anyway. Let's start from scratch and let's see how you can use Canvas Candy. I go back to my vault where I already installed and activated the CSS snippet. Now I create a new canvas and I call it Canvas Candy. And the first thing I want to do is to create a new card by double clicking here in the whiteboard and I call it card. Now I will show you some decoration by using CSS. First of all, inside the card, I need to add the property field CSS classes inside the YAML front matter. If you are not familiar with properties, watch my video about that. I will leave the link in the description down below. And inside the field, I can write CC dash border dash double. And as you can see, now the border of the card is doubled. But you can also change it in rounded by writing CC dash border dash rounded and if you want a double rounded border you just need to add them both like this as you can see our text card is on the left but i would like to see it centered well it's easy you just need to open the card and add cc card center and here we go. But let's create another card. And this time I want a circle. So I add the front matter section and add the CSS classes. And inside it, I write CC shape circle. And here we go. You have your circle. Now let's add the CC card center so we can actually see the text. Now I want to show you something. If I move this card on top of another card, the second card will be covered by the first one. But if you add CC dash card dash transparent, you can now combine more cards together to create some nice effect. Okay, now that we saw some basic stuff like the borders and the circle card, I want to show you how you can improve the appearance of your card by adding, for example, a header or a footer. So I will create a card and I just want to add a double border. As we already saw, I just need to add a CSS classes field and write CC border dash double. 
Now, how can we add a title section and a footer section to our card? Well, it's very simple. And this time we need to use the callouts. To create a callout, you just need to use the greater than sign and inside the square brackets, you need to write an exclamation point follow it by the name of the callout that for the header section is cc-header and after that I just write my header. I do the same thing for the footer but this time I write cc-footer and my text here. And here we go. Look how beautiful this card is. Lastly, let's say that I want to create an happy birthday card by adding a couple of stickers like, I don't know, a cake or a balloon. First of all, you need the images in SVG format. I've already downloaded and added them to my vault here. And the only thing you have to do is to add to the name dash CC dash image. Now, I just need to drag and drop them in my canvas. Adjust the size. And here we go. A pretty nice birthday card. So now that you know what Canvas Candy is, maybe you are thinking something like, okay, Marco, this is great and I love it, but building this card is really, really slow and I don't want to waste my time by writing all those CSS classes. Well, TFT Hacker thought about that and the best solution, at least for now, is this one. Basically, you just need to copy and paste a folder called Stencils that you will find inside the Canvas Candy Vault. And inside this folder, you will find all the cards ready to use. For example, if you open the flowcharts circles folder, you will find all the circles, the same thing for the diamonds, parallelograms, and so on. And in every file, you will have an index that you can use to jump from one to another. So what I do is to open one of these files on the right, like this. And if I need a diamond, I just click on diamonds, I copy the one I need and just paste it in my canvas. If I need a sticker, I just click on stickers and copy paste the one I want to use and so on. So basically you don't need to create the cards from scratch, but maybe just to adjust the size or the color. Okay folks, this was Canvas Candy. It brings your Obsidian Canvas experience to another level, making this tool for visualizing knowledge even better. You will find all the TFT Hacker contact and the link to the Canvas Candy Vault in the description down below. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server for more productivity, knowledge management and not taking content and discussions. You will find all the links in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.